What wellness trend should we talk about today? Let's ask the wheel of violence. Ozempic. Ozempic and other GLP-1 receptor agonists are some of the most powerful tools we have ever had for treating obesity. They work in part by shutting down appetite at the level of the brain, and for many people, that is an absolute game changer. But here's the catch. When you lose your appetite, you don't just eat less junk, you eat less of everything, including protein-dense foods. And without enough protein, especially if you're not lifting weights, your body starts to break down muscle right along with fat. That's exactly what we're seeing in clinical trials. Up to 40% of the weight people lose on these medications is coming from muscle, not just fat. And that is a big problem because muscle is critical for metabolic health, blood sugar regulation, and long-term weight maintenance. Now, this isn't a new idea. One of the leading researchers in energy balance analyzed the Minnesota starvation experiment and found the best predictor of post-diet overeating and weight regain wasn't how much fat you lost, it was how much muscle you lost. When you lose muscle, your body starts fighting hard to put weight back on. The good news, there is a fix. If you are using GLP-1 medications, make sure you are eating enough protein. And our recommendation is at least 1.6 grams per kg of your target body weight. And when you train, you need to be lifting weights two to four times per week to preserve muscle. The medication can help you lose weight, but it is up to you to protect your muscle and metabolism and your long-term health.